I think you definitely have to be your own advocate in your cancer care. Being able to do your own research and bring those options to your oncologist can really be life-changing. When I was first diagnosed with cancer, it was two years ago in November of 2014. I felt a lump on my clavicle. They were able to determine that it was Hodgkin's lymphoma. I was in my third year of college, so I was expecting just to graduate in a year, but immediately I was faced with this cancer diagnosis, so it was a huge bump in the road. I started treatment right away, which was a chemotherapy called ABVD. When I finished chemo, my scan was clear, and then they saw a suspicious spot that lit up in my PET scan. They realized that the lymphoma had come back. Immediately, we started looking at different options because our oncologists here told us that the next line of treatment is a stem cell transplant, but they've only done two of those, so automatically we knew, well, we couldn't get treatment in Albuquerque. Going home from the oncologist that day, we were kind of shocked and frightened. The best defense, it seems, against fear is knowledge and action. I found a clinical trial in Omaha, Nebraska, using brentuximab, vidotin, and nivolumab. My oncologist didn't mention clinical trials. It was my mom doing her own research and bringing up the idea of immunotherapy as a clinical trial option. I knew clinical trials were out there and people used them, but I kind of thought they were seen as a last resort. I felt better knowing that it was going to be my immune system helping to fight the cancer instead of taking chemotherapy drugs that completely wipe out your immune system. It lasted two months. After two treatments, my tumors had shrunk by over 50%. After four full treatments of immunotherapy, my oncologist came in and told me that I was in complete remission, which was so exciting. I was told that I still needed to do a stem cell transplant to keep me in remission. So we had to pack up our things and kind of move to Omaha. If I hadn't chosen immunotherapy, I would be doing a few months of chemotherapy before I could even start the transplant process. It truly prepped me, so I was able to come out of it still strong and ready to go back to my normal life. I experienced a few side effects with the immunotherapy clinical trial. I remember being in the airport and feeling just stiff, and I felt like I couldn't even walk. We called my oncologist in Omaha and she just prescribed us Tylenol that was able to take away the pain. But other than that, the treatments were pretty easy and I was able to maintain my life, which I loved. I was able to work out just like I was working out before cancer. I was able to still hang out with my friends and do homework as well. Knowing that there's a community of people that have gone through immunotherapy and it's been used to treat so many different cancers. And I think that makes you really hopeful when you try a clinical trial. The work that people at Cancer Research Institute do literally means life and death to so many people. It, it, we are so grateful for all those who contribute and who support this work. We are now at the point of awaiting a follow-up PET scan, which we're anticipating will show a continued complete remission. I kind of had everyone tell me, there's life after cancer, and I thought, there's life during cancer too, especially when I was doing immunotherapy.